If you're a fan of young adult book-to-movie adaptations, you've likely heard of the Maze Runner series. Starring the talented Dylan O'Brien, the films took us on a roller coaster ride through the enigmatic glade, surrounded by towering walls and a deadly maze. If you're still recovering from the adrenaline-packed maze escapes and the heart-stopping journey through the post-apocalyptic world in The Death Cure, you might be wondering, is this really the end? Well, hold on to your glader gear because we're diving into the possibility of a Maze Runner 4, and things might not be as concluded as we thought. Let's rewind a bit and dissect the success of the Maze Runner franchise. Unlike some of its counterparts, such as the incomplete Diversion series or the abandoned Percy Jackson movies, Maze Runner managed to stay on course, both narratively and financially. The trilogy, comprising The Maze Runner, Maze Runner The Scorch Trials, and Maze Runner The Death Cure, earned nearly $1 billion worldwide. Impressive, right? The first film alone raked in $348 million against a modest $34 million production budget. However, the journey wasn't without its bumps, most notably a 2016 setback when Dylan O'Brien, our beloved lead, faced a harrowing accident on set. The actor's face bore the brunt of a stunt car collision during the filming of The Death Cure, causing a three-year delay in the trilogy's conclusion. But O'Brien recovered and was determined to see the Maze Runner saga through to its end. Now, here's where the plot thickens. While the Maze Runner trilogy reached a cinematic conclusion, there are two more books, The Kill Order and The Fever Code, waiting in the wings. These prequels delve into the dystopian origins of the Glade, offering a deeper understanding of how and why the young protagonists found themselves trapped in this perilous maze. But why haven't these intriguing prequels made it to the big screen? Screenwriter T.S. Nolan, the creative mind behind the movie adaptations, has a straightforward answer. They didn't want to make a fourth film. Nolan expressed a rare desire for a clean narrative, a story with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Admirable as it is, one can't help but wonder if the Maze Runner universe could follow in the footsteps of franchises like Star Wars, expanding beyond the initially envisioned trilogy. But let's not forget the elephant in the room, changes and quality concerns. As the Maze Runner series progressed, it seemed to lose some of its audience rather than gaining momentum. Each sequel witnessed deviations from the source material, and the question arises, did the franchise compromise its integrity for the sake of continuation? The corporate landscape played a significant role. Fox, the studio behind Maze Runner, underwent a seismic shift following the release of The Death Cure in 2018. Disney swooped in and acquired Fox, potentially altering plans for the franchise's expansion. While a Disney Plus series or a reboot could be in the cards, it begs the question, is Maze Runner a priority for the entertainment giant? Author James Dashner, the architect of this intricate maze, has voiced his hope for further adaptations. In 2015, Dashner said that he'd give anything for his newer books to hit the screen. It would be a lot of fun, and it would be fun to see some of these actors return to the world, he said. But director Wes Ball, who helmed the entire trilogy, expressed a hesitancy towards a fourth installment, stating, I think three is the number, beginning, middle, end, that's it. Four? I think there's something off about four. Screenwriter T.S. Nolan echoed the sentiment, emphasizing the rarity of a clean trilogy. But could there be secret discussions happening behind closed doors? Or are we destined to let the movies exhale, as Nolan puts it? While the original book series boasts only three novels, The Kill Order and The Fever Code open up a world of possibilities. These prequels explore the events preceding Thomas's awakening in the maze and offer a glimpse into the origin of the Flare virus. In the fourth installment, The Kill Order, the narrative unfolds 13 years before the prologue and events depicted in The Maze Runner. The primary story commences in New York City amidst the aftermath of catastrophic solar flares. Mark and Trina, along with allies like Alec, Lana, and others, forge a crucial alliance as they navigate through a world ravaged by the devastating consequences of solar flares. Their journey unfolds against the backdrop of a city in chaos, marked by a struggle for survival and the emergence of unexpected alliances. Moving on to the subsequent book, The Fever Code, the focus shifts to the construction of the maze, unraveling the mysteries of its inception. 
The central characters of this tale include Thomas, Teresa, Albie, Mino, Newt, Rachel, and Eris. Set in an underground setting, the storyline reveals that these kids are immune to the flare virus, except for Newt, adding a layer of complexity to their predicament. The term the flare is used to describe the virus that looms ominously over their world, presenting both a physical and metaphorical challenge to the characters. Together, the Kill Order and the Fever Code serve as crucial prequels, offering readers a glimpse into the pivotal events that precede the Maze Runner trilogy. These novels not only expand the narrative universe, but also shed light on the characters' resilience in the face of unprecedented challenges, making them essential reads for Maze Runner enthusiasts eager to unearth the secrets hidden within the maze's walls. Now, you might be wondering how Dylan O'Brien's return is even possible, considering the conclusive ending of The Death Cure. Well, here's the scoop. The Kill Order, the fourth book in the series, is set a whopping 13 years before Thomas enters the maze. As I told you, it unveils the chaotic events leading to the world's downfall, featuring a new set of characters and a brief appearance by Thomas. The beauty of this is that O'Brien's return could be seamlessly integrated with minimal effort. A few well-placed flashbacks, maybe even reusing footage from the previous films and voila! Thomas is back and Maze Runner 4 is a reality. Remember the divisive trend of splitting the finale into two parts? Maze Runner, despite not adopting this trend, faced a similar fate with diminishing returns as the trilogy progressed. The question arises, should Maze Runner 4 follow suit or take a different path? It's an exciting thought. Could the Maze Runner franchise reinvent itself with a split finale or find a new formula altogether? Imagine the possibilities of expanding the story, exploring uncharted territories, and introducing fresh challenges for our gladers. Now think about it. Hollywood loves a good franchise, and successful ones usually follow a pattern of releasing movies every one or two years. Maze Runner, since its inception in 2014, has become a darling among science fiction, action, and adventure enthusiasts. But the last installment graced our screens in 2018. The burning question? When can we expect Maze Runner 4? While the release date remains shrouded in mystery, a logical guess would place it in 2024 or 2025. But an official statement from the producers is yet to confirm this. Until then, we'll have to content ourselves with the prospect of revisiting the Glade and uncovering more secrets. In the grand scheme of Maze Runner's movie series, the journey has been nothing short of thrilling. The three films, each a piece of the puzzle, captivated audiences and left us yearning for more. Whether Maze Runner 4 materializes as a continuation or takes the form of a prequel, only time will reveal the fate of this dystopian tale. As we eagerly await news from the producers, the Maze Runner universe stands at a crossroads. Will it remain a trilogy that beautifully concluded, or will it defy convention and venture into uncharted territory? The maze is intricate, the stakes are high, and the possibilities are endless. Let the speculation begin. If you're as curious as we are and eager to stay updated on any Maze Runner 4 developments, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join the maze-loving community. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this Maze Runner 4 speculation journey. Until next time, may the maze continue to captivate your imagination.